Hello, and welcome to the fourth video in the Introduction to Shagit Migrate series. We've previously looked at connecting to your SharePoint environment as well as settings to look out for. We're almost at the migration step, but first, you'll likely want to run a few reports to get a better overview of your source and or destination environments to help you better plan your project. In the All Reports tab, we have a few pre-made reports in the built-in reports section. For example, I could click on Site Collection Report here, select my target, and run it right away. However, if I want to modify that report, I can click on the Duplicate and Run as a Custom Report option. This will allow me to remove or add columns, add filters, or even change the object type to modify what I am reporting on specifically. Keep in mind that if you add multiple filters, there are AND filters. This means that the results will have to fit all filter requirements simultaneously. I can save a customized report, and I can also schedule it later if I want to run it on a frequency or a set schedule. One of the most frequently used reports is the permission matrix report. This report is quite amazing as it will give you an accurate view of 100% of all permissions on a site collection. From the top all the way down to the file level. That said, this is a heavy report that requires a lot of API calls to produce. So keep this in mind when selecting your scope. While it is possible to run it on multiple site collections at once, the results could become too large to manage and analyze properly, so appropriate scoping here is always important. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at migration operations.